a lot of a lot of you people have stories that you've never heard. And uh, I went backstage. I knew Bill Graham from the Fillmore. I don't know if any of you people know him. But, and he asked me, Joe, could you help out backstage? Because we have a problem backstage. So I went backstage to find out what the problem was. And um, someone from the Jepson Airplanes uh, band uh, put a whole bunch of LSD in the water truck backstage. <laughs> now, security... <laughs> this is something they'll never tell you. Security at that time at the stage, because the New York State State Troopers, <laughs> when I went backstage, they were flapping on the ground like fish out of water. <laughs> <laughs> so I decided that they really did need help, right? <laughs> and since I had a whole lot of LSD myself at the time. <laughs> I was up on the stage for up on the main stage for a little while doing security, but then they got some big gorillas, and I heard about to watch the stage, and I heard about the trip tent, right, where all these people who hadn't tripped before um, were coming, and freaking out, thinking they were dying, right, and um, I went. I decided I'd go up and help at the trip tent because. The people I was running with, we had more LSD than any group of people should ever have in their life. <laughs> right? We used to eat it like candy and by the handfuls. And that's not the LSD you people take today. What you're getting is 50, 50 mic doses. We were getting 250 mic doses back then. And the chemists back then really prided themselves in what they're doing. What they do today is not real LSD. I hate to tell you people out there. Uh, but anyway, oh. I went up to the trip tent, <laughs> and they had a guy in, in a on a stretcher tied down, and they had a guy over in the corner in a straight jacket with his leg. painting over here. Let's give yeah. it up. Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah. 